Hey everybody, Philip here. I got a little something to share with you today. Um, if you haven't watched my other videos on the Ricardo Samtia pipes I received, um, a little background on that. I bought one, the first one I ever got from him, and I did a video on that one. And it's a great smoker. Then um, after that, me and Ricardo kept in contact, and I kept shooting him ideas back and forth, and. Um, did like I reckon you call it promotional work for him. You know, I basically just blasted his stuff on Facebook and YouTube and in the forums and everything. And he appreciated it and he sent me a prototype of another pipe he was doing. We dubbed that the Colonial Cob. And that smoked great as well and I did the same thing, just blasted it everywhere. And he appreciated that. And you know, I kept shooting him ideas back and forth and one of the ideas I sent to him he just really really loved and it's probably the best idea I've ever had actually as far as pipes go probably, hell probably the best idea I've ever had period but nonetheless um, he really responded to this idea and he's done a mock-up or a prototype of that and he's gonna start doing these as a full production I believe so um, I'm really hoping that they take off. Everything we've heard from people so far is that it's it's an awesome idea and they really want one. So I'm hoping y'all like it just as much. Um, let me get it set up so I can show y'all the best way I know how to show it to give the effect I want it to bring. Okay, so here's the prototype. Right, looks pretty much like any of his other pipes. Right. You know, just a little short nose warming pipe right well hold on I'm gonna do a little magic on it here a little bit of Philip Ricardo magic and what you get is presto the pipe just got a woody haha uh -huh. that's funny won't it if you ain't laughing then something's wrong with you that, that was damn funny but um it was witty Anyway, um, I hope y'all noticed the difference. If you didn't notice the difference, you might be blind. I'll do it one more time for you. Here we go. All right? Here we go. It's Mr. Half Mass here. All right. Give it a little warming up, a little hand magic, and then bam, you get the full rager. All right? No homo. But... <clears throat> What you got here, basically, if you don't know, is a separate shank thing. Ex <clears throat> extension, right? Um, I know the lighting's terrible in here, so I'm going to try to illustrate this the best I can. Um, if you see here, almost directly where the light's shining on it, you got a seam, right? That seam, basically what it does, or uh, what it is, is, see that? That's what we got. You got a tenon right there. And what you got here is a shank extension. And not a shank extension in the traditional sense that you see everywhere else. You actually got a piece of shank made to extend the original shank. Or the what I have said is this is the hard shank right here. Or the set shank. And this is the extra shank or extendable shank. Right? And you know the stem comes out and go can go into either one of these like so so basically what you get is two different length pipes in one now you might be thinking oh well that looks like it might create a lot of problems with turbulence and stuff well let me go ahead and clear that up um this pipe smokes just as good as any of his other pipes I've smoked okay I can't tech, detect any turbulence in it I can't detect any restriction in the draw. Uh, it's just nice and open like any of his other pipes. Um, it's not any harder to clean or pass a pipe cleaner or anything like that, actually, which surprised me. I figured, you know, with this, there's going to be like a little bit of a lip and stuff, so I'm going to have to like work a pipe cleaner in there, either take it apart and clean it out and stuff. No. Actually, take a church warning pipe cleaner, it goes all the way through the bottom. But, you know, if you don't want to buy church one and pipe cleans you can always use the regular ones and just take it apart and clean it no big deal right 
Um, what we decided to go with here for the tenons is, uh, I mean, you ain't going to be able to tell the material by looking at it, but it's a Duralin rod is what it is, Duralin tenon. And the reason we decided to do that is because it's a self-lubricating material. Um, and what I mean by that is that it, it's slick. So it slides in much easier than, say, like an acrylic one or um, uh, vulcanite, which I don't know why we would use vulcanite. But um, it slides in very easily. I mean, like super easy, actually. Uh, so that's great like I said it's self lubricating it's slick as ill shit sorry if I offended anyone's delicate sensibilities or hurt anyone's ears by saying that but that's the best way I can describe it and it's very cool I, I mean I like it I like it a lot it makes it for great for storage you know you got a little pipe bag just throw it in there and you got two pieces like this right here just bam throw it in there or um actually I mean I've never tried this before. No, never mind. I was gonna try something, but don't, don't, don't. Just never mind that. It's a little late, y'all. I'm sorry if I'm a little clutter-headed here. But um, either way, uh, this this is a prototype, rough prototype. Uh, the seam isn't a hundred percent, but this was like his only second time doing that, and first time doing it as a whole pipe. Or yeah. So, that's to come. That's to be expected. And he's going to be working on this. He's going to be practicing it. And he's going to get it perfect. From what he told me, he's going to get it perfect. So, I'm looking forward to that. Um, this will be a full production line. Okay? He will put out all the finishes and all the um, different stems and both shapes and sizes and stuff like that that he's put on his regular lines. He'll have some flat at the bottom, some with the briar plug sticking out some more rounded at the bottom and stuff like that um, he's also working on taking briar and acrylic and making these little flushings at the end of the shanks here so it's a more smoother transition adds a little bit of contrast and stuff to it I'm really looking forward to it um, let me put the light on the whole pipe here for you so you can get like a decent view of the whole pipe maybe Rotate it around, let you look at this. It's very rough, rough, craggly finish on it. Feels good in the hand. I mean, I like it. The other two pipes I have by him are smooth, so this was a welcome difference, in my opinion. Nice deep bowl. Um, I've dedicated it to flakes because of the long extension. It smokes great for flakes. Um, but, I mean, you know, if I just want to walk, like I said, if I want to walk around the yard and stuff, don't want all that extra stuff hanging out of my mouth. I just bam, just like this right here. Put it in my mouth, walk around, very light on the jaw. You know, you can sit there, you can talk with people. I don't know if you can make out what I'm saying. I can understand me, so that's all that matters. Or if I want more of a long, relaxing, contemplative smoke, you know, just extend it out. You get a nice, cool smoke. Just and even though it's long, it it isn't extremely light. I mean, really is light. It's not like uncomfortable to hold in your jaw. I mean, I reckon after a while it would be tiresome in the jaw. But um, if you're working with your hand, you know, if you need your hands for something quick, just mm -hmm. go back and grab it. I mean, there's it's no problem to do that with. So, great finish on it, or uh, great craftsmanship in it finish you know that's like something subjective but I like the pipe a lot he did a great job on it it smokes great can't wait to see how it turns out when he is actually um, perfecting it so keep your eye out for that one I don't know when they'll be out it'll be sometime definitely after December though sometime in January maybe February I don't know he's just getting in a shipment of MM Cobbs and they should be on the way, and he's got, a, I mean, a bunch of cops coming in, so he's going to be cranking out pipes. He's going to be doing his regular line. He's going to be doing these. He's going to be doing some colonials, and he's going to be doing some other shapes that um, I have shown with him, and he has come up with himself as well. 
Uh, as far as I know, he's going to be doing a variation on the Missouri Mutual Freehand as well. And I'm really, really looking forward to that. He's going to be trying some different finishing techniques and variations too. So, I mean, there's going to be all kinds of different stuff coming out of Ricardo next year. So, keep up with him. I mean, really, keep up with him. He's doing a lot of stuff. If you haven't already, check out his website. Um, buy a pipe from him. You can do it either directly from him and have him make something custom for you. I mean, that's what I did. Um, you can also buy his pipes at Aristocob. I think there's still like five or six of them on there. Um, you can get them from Mechalaw. They have a few of them on there as well. Um, I'm talking with smokingpipes.com right now and trying to get them to host his pipes. Um, we're trying to work out some stuff, but um, hopefully they'll start hosting his pipes in the next little while as well. And um, yeah, that, that's about all I got to say. It's a great pipe. Good job, Ricardo. If you like this design, um, my, my original thing was for three shank extensions and making them a little bit shorter. He thought just two would be good, and I mean, it's fine with me too, so. But, if you want, you know, shorter extensions and have more of them, he can do as many extensions as you want. Just contact him and let him know. I think for production reasons, though, as far as, like, them being hosted everywhere and not just directly from him, I think he's just going to do two for now. And he might do a couple with three extensions. But, check him out. Great pipes. Keep up with what he's doing. Support our local... Uh, a local, he's not local for me, but um, our small businessmen, okay? Um, that's it. I'll talk to y'all later, and when I get another prototype in or another pipe in from Ricardo, I'll be doing another video. All right, y'all. Take it. Oh, oh, wait, wait, don't, don't go anywhere. Before you go, I gotta show you what else he sent me with it. Tamper, like any other time, of course, and. He's been in the spirit of sending me these nice little bags here. I donated one to Sister Skipsy's contest. But these nice little Christmas bags here. And, um, yeah, that, that's it. That's it now. I'm sorry. I'll let you go now. Uh, dismiss the class. I'll talk to you all later. Bye, y'all.